I think our number one asset in Anderson County is Lake Hartwell. Lake Hartwell attracts over a million visitors annually. We have a community that's passionate about the lake and passionate about fishing, and it's hard not to be passionate along with them. Lake Hartwell is where champions fish. I'm Brian Latimer, I'm from Belton, South Carolina, here on the shores of Lake Hartwell at Green Pond Landing. This place is really special to me. This is where I grew up fishing. I grew up fishing with my dad. I actually uh, fished my first tournament here when I was in second grade. So it's a real special place here. My dad was a tournament fisherman when I was growing up, so that's where, of course, where um, I got the bug to go fishing at. My mom is also an employer of Duke Power, uh, Duke Energy here in Anderson, South Carolina. So I've grown up in the area all of my life. Played baseball when I was a kid at Lindley Field. Um, so the Anderson area is, is uh, really important to me. I, I spent a lot of time and, and I grew up here um, in the surrounding city. So it's, I really like uh, the Anderson area, all the things we have here, a lot of restaurants, we have a lot of entertainment here. And of course being an outdoorsman, having a lake right here in the back, um, in my backyard is, is really important to me. I started out fishing in what's called the BFLs. Uh, the BFLs is the grassroots level of, of FLW. And I, from then on, I fished in BFLs for about three or four years. I actually got my first win here at Lake Hartwell in 2007. I think it was like 23, 24 years old. And after that, I kind of got the bug and I really wanted to hit the road hard. I started fishing with just sort of like the triple A division of uh, FLW, which is the Railbacks. Um, and then it was called the, the Railback Series. Now it's called the Costa Del Mar Series. Uh, so I fished those from basically 2008 up and on, uh, off and on um, every year, up and about till last year. And last year I wanted to make a, a bigger commitment, wanted to, to take it a step farther and, and really make a stab at making a living at fishing. And I was able to get enough support from friends, family, and some industry support as well uh, to make that step forward and fish the FLW Tour for 2016. So I'm looking forward uh, to all the capabilities and what's gonna happen on tour this year. Green Pond Landing is what I'll be promoting this year, so I'm really excited about that. To actually get support from, from your hometown means a lot to me. Um, it's, it's easy to get support from people that don't know you, but when people from your hometown embrace what you're trying to do, it really, uh, it really means a lot to me. Of course, like I said, I, I grew up fishing. Um, I had my dad to, to teach me, kind of to, to bring me through the ropes. Uh, so not every kid has that. Not every kid has someone to take them out fishing or to show them how to tie this knot, use green pumpkin this time at this time of the year, use smoke purple this time of the year. So I wanted to try to, to uh, I guess, mentor some of the younger anglers. High school fishing is a really big deal right now, and I wanted to be a part of that, show them what they need to be doing, what not to be doing, so uh, so they can get to the tour level one day as well. Like I said, I grew up fishing. I've uh, been around fishing all my life. Uh, of course, growing up. I, I call them distractions. Like baseball was kind of a distraction when I was younger, and then I would always end up coming back to fishing. And then I'd quit fishing for a while, quit being quite as serious about it, and I started playing tennis for a while, and that got old, and I came back to fishing. Um, I'm also a musician. I play bass at my, my home church, uh, Mount Zion Baptist Church in Belton. I got really serious about that for a while, and then it just seemed like I would always come back to fishing. And so I kind of got to the point where I'm like, okay, God, I give up. Let's just give this fishing thing a try. So uh, for at least the last four or five years, I pretty much made it my, my ambition just to give, wake up every day and give everything I've got to making a living fishing. So some days that may include going out on the water and learning something different about actually catching a fish. Some days that means picking up the phone and introducing myself to what can be a new sponsor. Some days that's working on resumes. Um, some days that may be just working on my social media outlets, uh, working on YouTube videos. Every day I just try to throw every bit of energy that I have at trying to figure out new ways, creative ways to make 
fishing actually actually profitable to me. That's what I encourage when I'm talking to a high school kid. A lot of times they always ask me, how do I get sponsors? What do I need to do to be a tour pro? What do I need to do this? And the, the real answer to it is nobody really knows. Um, it's sort of an art form. Fishing is more of an art form. Um, it doesn't matter how you do that, as long as the end result is you get to the tour level, the Fish Elite Series like Casey Ashley did. There's really no one path to get there, so I just encourage everybody to be creative. Um, think of creative ways to promote yourself as an angler and promote the people that work with you. And I think in the end, the end result will be what you want. Fishing the FLW tour, I've been to go, been able to go to a lot of places, see a lot of boat ramps, a lot of facilities, and the facilities here at Green Pond are definitely state of the art. There's nothing worse than fishing a tournament 8, 12, 14 hours, and then not having a good place to park your truck. Um, so that's one thing I really like. We've got a lot of parking here. Uh, the facilities just really set up to hold bigger events, and I'm looking forward for the FLW tour. We have 200 boat fields. Um, facilities hold, hold it very well. One of the one of the good things I, I agree with you on that day, uh, is that uh, this has been good not only for Anderson County, it's good for the upstate. I uh, noticed it's brought a lot of uh, a lot of tournaments to some of the neighboring lakes and counties. Ab absolutely. I, I can remember growing up, um, I would always see the Bassmaster Classic at, at different places. You'd see it in Alabama, you would see it uh, you see it over here in Texas, you would see it here in North Carolina and you would think God, why can't we just have a, a big event like that here in Anderson County? So I was really excited the first time it came here in, in 2008, uh, but to have it again here in 2015 at Green Pond, I think that was a really special thing. And it spoke volumes for them to bring that type of event, the most prestigious event is bass fishing, to bring it here in Anderson County at Green Pond Landing. I think that speaks volumes about how well the job Anderson County has did at building this facility. I agree. I agree. And it, uh... I, I'm like you. I, I I never have had the time to uh, feed my uh, my hobby and go on the right, circuit. Right. So I've always had to fish as recreational sport. Right. right. And uh, and I think as you and I talked the other day, uh, you're a recreation fisherman. You just enjoy going on the circuit to do it too. Well, yeah, absolutely. I, uh, fishing is really pretty much all I do. So I fish for fun sometimes, and sometimes I fish for competition. Of course. Most fishermen start out as recreational fishermen and it starts to get some more serious, more dollars are involved. They start out at club tournaments just like I did, VFL level. And, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about the possibilities of fishing the tour level competition. Of course, I fish all the time. I fish for fun. I fish with my parents. I fish with, uh, with my son, with my wife. Um, so fishing is big in my family, but I'm, I'm really excited about actually being able to go out there, compete, and make money fishing. So. Uh, so I'm really excited about that and the possibilities of what can happen in the future. You know, that's uh, just as you had mentioned, getting your family involved. Uh, my two sons, uh, I got them started fishing. Yeah, uh, that's how it starts. They, uh, uh, I don't really have to worry about them getting in trouble because they don't have any money because they spend right. it all on fishing equipment. Right, right, exactly. I, I can remember many days. Uh, I think the biggest problem for me, I, I didn't really stay out late on Friday nights. I was usually getting up and going fishing at three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. I, I used to love to duck hunt as well, so I was always trying to get in on Friday night. And I was my problem was that I was always stayed going all Saturday, fishing, hunting, or just being out in the outdoors. So yeah, fishing is is a really good thing for youth to get involved in because it keeps them off the streets, it keeps you in at night, and it keeps you out during the day. That's exactly right. And then. The equipment's not cheap either, is it? No, equipment's not cheap, and I don't think it's getting any cheaper. So we always complain about the price of things, but it's not going down. And especially if we we stop, uh, as long as we keep buying, it, it's going to keep getting higher. But I can say there is a lot of good products. Uh, fish finders have come a long way over the years. Bass boats have improved exponentially over the years. Our outboards are better than they've ever been. They're cleaner. Um, they use less fuel use less oil than they ever have before. I run a Mercury Optimax, and I'm getting closer to the gas mileage that I get out of my truck. So oh, really? uh, even though they're costing a lot these days, they've gotten way better. Yeah, yeah. 
I knew uh, when I first started, I think about three miles to the gallon. Yep. Some of the old. Yep. I'm a little bit older than you. <laughs> right. I, I remember so, those three miles yeah, to the yeah. gallon. You crank it up and you just have a cloud of smoke yeah, around yeah, you. But those right. days are gone. Uh, yeah. The motor's a lot cleaner now. The equipment's more dependable too. Absolutely, more dependable. Faster too. It's a lot faster <laughs> and definitely more dependable. Yeah, yeah. And uh, man, you ready to go catch a fish? I'm ready to go catch yeah. one. All right. I am. I'd, I'd rather go do that. And that's what we come here <laughs> for. Right. Sure. Of course, everybody knows social media is a, is a huge part of, of promoting fishing or pr promoting business in general right now. So I have a couple of social media outlets that I use. Of course, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, it's just Brian Latimer. My Instagram is just Brian underscore Latimer. Um, and also Facebook. You can just look me up. Brian Latimer Fishing is uh, my fan page and also my personal page. I talk about fishing on both of those. So you can follow my fan page or just Brian Latimer as well.